ABC's General Hospital was revealed that Dante will eventually not make it. He will die. Dante's wound was so severe, combined with the loss of his blood, that Dante gradually exhausted himself. Although Dante was diligently treated by doctors, he was unable to fight back afterwards. Everyone was extremely saddened by Dante's death, thinking that after the surgery, he would overcome it. But miracles don't happen to a good person like Dante. When he was alive, Dante was an upright police officer who always helped many people. Therefore, there are many people who loved Dante, and they were all heartbroken when they heard the news of Dante's death. Dante's funeral was very sad. Dante is so young, and he lives so kindly. If Dante were still alive, he would definitely be able to help many people. Jason also appears at Dante's funeral. It's not the time when Jason should show his face, but with Dante gone, Jason couldn't choose to hide forever. He blamed himself even though he was not the one who shot Dante, but partly because of him. Dante had to leave forever, so Jason was very regretful, and Jason never wanted his friends or relatives to get hurt. Meanwhile, Jason tried to save Dante, but it was too late. Suddenly, a gunshot rang out, and Jason was shot. The shooter was Livia, Dante's mother. Right at Dante's funeral, another troubling incident happened. Olivia didn't need to listen to Dante's explanation and shot him. It seemed that Olivia still thought that Jason was the one who shot Dante, so Olivia took revenge, but this was a big mistake. Olivia was so heartbroken by Dante's departure that she acted out of control even if Jason was involved in Dante's death. Olivia had no right to shoot, so Olivia had also become a murderer and she will have to go to prison and Olivia is making more things complicated. Jason was taken to the hospital in critical condition and had lost a lot of blood. Jason expected the decision to offend Dante's funeral would bring him much danger. And before Olivia could distinguish anything clearly, she shot Jason. Luckily, everything turned out okay in the end. Jason was promptly treated and is now out of danger. Olivia was taken to prison and perhaps when decided to shoot Jason, Olivia also anticipated his consequence. She's not afraid of going to jail. She only hopes to be able to avenge her son's unjust death. Olivia accepts to pay the price for her actions, and Ned will stay and try to save Olivia. He's willing to use his money and connections so Olivia can soon be free.